What's up, everybody? I am Matt Fish. I'm Matt Cole. From Melt Barn Grilled. Fatheads Brewery. And if you aren't aware, we do a collaboration with Fatheads every uh, quarter at Melt and Fatheads. And this quarter for March, we're making an amazing... What are we making, Matt? We're making a Jasmine Pale Ale. Jasmine Pale Ale. So, Jasmine flowers are right here, and Matt's got them soaking in some hot water so we can smell the Aromax going on. Yep, very earthy. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of citrus out of that. I'm getting yeah. citrus, you're getting some earthy tea flavors, some tea notes. I actually smell a little rice in there for some yeah. reason. I don't know why I'm getting mint, but I get mint and I get the citrus as well. And I think that uh, the citra hops mm. are going to be a big component, which I think are going to blend very well with our uh, magical potion. Magical potion. So what's the name of this beer we're making? It's called Walk, Walk the, the Jazz, jazz ba. ba. No, not Jazz Ba. Walk the Jazz Ba. Walk the Jazz Bar. So, we so we're here, not live, but we're here at Fatheads Brewery today in February because we're starting to make this beer that's going to be available March 1st at all seven melt locations in Cleveland, Columbus, and Akron, and at the uh, Fatheads Brewery in North Olmstead. Middleburg Heights. Middleburg Heights. And Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh. So we're going to make this beer. So you're going to watch us making this beer all day long today, and then you're going to watch us drinking it at the end and enjoying it. So come and check this beer out all March at all melt locations and all fatheads locations. Anything you want to add right now, my buddy? Well, um, we got to work it out for it. We do. This is going to be an amazing beer. I'm ready for it. It smells amazing. I think it's really, really going to complement our juicy citrusy hops. Mm. And it's going to go with our monthly sandwich special in March, which is our General So's Chicken Melt, which is hugely popular. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, everybody, we're up on top of the brew right here. I've got one of the brewmasters, Josh, with me. Our beer is, is in the kettle, it's in the boil stage, so explain to me what's going on. All right, so uh, part of making beer is boiling the uh, wort uh, to sanitize it. Also, uh, this is where you add the different uh, additions of hops and flavors that go into it. Cool. So uh, right now we have the bittering hops in here. So we it's an early addition. We boil it for 90 minutes. Uh, we threw these in here, and they're going to boil the whole time of the 90 minutes to make the beer and give it its bitterness. What kind of hops are we talking about here? Uh, so right now we have Chinook in here. Okay, Chinook. So we're cool. just going to give us a nice uh, piney bitterness. Okay, so this is going to be a 90 minute boil with the Chinook hops, and then what's going to happen to it next? Uh, so we're going to get some flavor hop additions throughout our boil. We're going to add a lot of citra hops to it. Awesome. Uh, and then we're going to cast out to our whirlpool where we're going to add our jasmine and uh, let it steep. And yeah, that's going to be awesome. And then after our whirlpools and uh, we pull the clean works to the fermenter and uh, it uh, gets cool and ferments out. Cool. All right. Wait. Cool. All right, we're going to see you next. When we take it over to the whirlpool, we're going to see you there. Okay, we're back. So we're, we've got our bags. We're gonna be bagging up our jasmine flowers. We have all the jasmine flowers over here. So we're putting them into these bags. They're gonna go into the wash later on. And they're gonna sit in there for a couple minutes. Take all the flavor of the deliciousness of the beer. Yeah, tell the people at home what you found out about the jasmine flowers. Oh, it's supposed to help with the schmackle. The schmackle. The schmackle. It's supposed to be good for uh, people that are impotent. Impotent. So it's supposed to uh, have help with virginity. It's supposed so, to help with virginity. So we found out the jasmine flowers are an aphrodisiac. Yeah. So, which means this beer is going to be even better than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. Drink one or two of You're these. We're going to have a few of them, I think. A few? Oh. I'm thinking three or four at, at every melt location and all three Fatheads locations. Yeah. We're going to get you laid, people. It is really the beer that gives back. You can get back. You give us back and you can get some back. All right, good people of Beerland, we are back. Brewmaster Josh is here. Tell us what we're doing next, Josh. All right, so we're uh, fresh in the middle of our boil here, so we're gonna add some citra hops to uh, give us some oh, nice citrus uh, character to the body of the beer. Smell that. Can you guys smell that at home? So as we're drinking, we're gonna get oh my God. a little citrusy, a little spicy from the jasmine. Woo! 
Oh man, we're gonna pour this guy in here. Can you do the honors? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, it's too bad you guys can't smell this at home. But... Oh my gosh. It's so hoppy and so citrusy. Loving it. You ready? Going in. Gotta get all the residue in there. Gotta get that dust. Gotta get that dust. Hey, we are back. We've got whole leaf hops here. Hey, folks, tell us what we're doing next, my friends. So, we got some good whole flower. North Pacific Northwest hops. We have citra, some mosaic, a bunch of tropical fruit, melon, pineapple, passion fruit, guava. Really gonna compliment the uh, the jasmine. I think oh, it's gonna be nice and mm, resiny and uh, sticky, delicious. Right, I'm already sticky because of this. It's so yeah, beautiful. we've been rolling ourselves around in it a lot. Remember we talked about that aphrodisiac? <laughs> Pops is not an aphrodisiac, but apparently Matt is a little turned on right now because of the jasmine. All right. So. We're gonna take this over to the hot pack. We're gonna pour this holy, this yeah. whole, whole flower hot pack in the hot pack, right? We are. We're gonna put them in our hot pack and we're going to run the wort into them and uh, we're gonna steep all those essential oils out of that hop and get some good aroma. Kill it. Yeah, all right, you wanna do it? Yeah, let's right, go. Alright, we're we go. going in. Hops, holy hops going into the hop pack. Oh man. Oh, now it becomes the dank tank. Woo! We're dank tanking it. Oh man, this is smelling we're so dank good. Tanking it. Get all the goodness out, get all the goodness out. Oh. Get that get down in there. Let's see this beautifulness. Alright. So the wart's gonna come down off the boil, it's gonna come out this little chute right here. It's gonna fill up with all the hot flowers in here. That's where we're gonna get all those aromatic flavors coming out. And we're dropping the we're drop, dropping the bag of jasmine oh, in here. Oh, we're dropping so the jasmine flowers gonna go in here for sure. Yeah. We're dropping the aphrodisiac yeah. jasmine flowers right in the top of these hops. Yeah, I think people are gonna really, really want to drink this beer. Yeah, this is gonna be delicious. Awesome. Cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, people, we're back. The wart is coming in. The hot wart is coming into the hot back right now. Coming up from the bottom to the top. You feel Woo! Smell all that. Well, you can't smell it, but Sean can smell it. You see all the steam coming up? That's yeah. aromatic deliciousness. Sure. Ooh, this smells good so far. Yeah, but we haven't gotten the bag in there yet. The bag. So once the bag gets submerged, then, uh, then we should really get some crazy uh, earthy oils and aromas. Yeah, it's coming up. All right. Okay. So yeah, so we got a good look at the jasmine. So how long, Matt? How long is this gonna float in here? How long are we gonna have the uh, the fresh the fresh hop flowers and the jasmine sitting in the I think our knockout. Hop I think our knockout probably is gonna be about 25 minutes, something like that, maybe 30. 30. Okay. So Josh says 30 to 45. So okay. I would say Let's go longer. Let's do we want a tense longer. flavor. We're gonna say 45 minutes uh -huh. from our from our brewmaster Josh over there. Yep. We're gonna do the wart's gonna slip in the happy land right here of hops and jasmine flowers. Matt's sticking his hands in the aphrodisiac. Getting crazy on us. Yeah, this is some serious flower power. This is some serious flower power right here. That name's taken already. Well, I know that, but it's kind of a cool name. Walk the jazz bar. Walk the jazz bar. Yeah, walk the jazz bar. We're going to include aphrodisiac. Walk the aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. Yeah, the jazz bar aphrodisiac. Yeah. The beer with okay, frigidity. Like, yeah. Pump, pump the jazz bar. <laughs> pump in the jazz bar. Oh, it's starting to float. It's starting to float. It's about halfway up, it looks like. All right, Sean's so gonna turn it on the top and come plowing in. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah, that wart stick coming in. Coming in. Coming in hot, Sean, coming in hot. Mm, it does smell really nice. All right, 
we are back. We are near the end of our brew. So our wort is in the hop back now. It's been there for about 45 minutes. It's coming out, coming out into the heating stage here. It's going to go here. It's going to go into this awesome looking bright tank right here where it's going to sit and get all the deliciousness until you can drink it. March 1st. But what are we doing now, man? We're going to taste yeah. the wort actually out of the heating stages. So we're going to taste it. Give it a little oxygen. Can you feel that? A little sample here and see what we got. Oh. Oh, I definitely get some of the flowers. All right, so this here, is here's, here's sugar water. We have sugar water infused with some really delicious tropical hops and uh, jasmine flowers. Yeah. So this is the beer in the primal stage right here. Not it's not beer. It's not beer. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Man, food science. I make grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't make beer. That's why I work with this guy. He makes some really good grilled cheese. Oh my god, this is really good. It's really awesome. It has a really cool earthiness. There's a spiciness in there and uh, it complements the hops nicely. Yeah. I taste a lot of wort. This is up some of the best I've ever had. Really? I'm telling you. Did you hear that? Some of the best would be dangerous. This is going to be a 6% flavor bomb right? with the hops, the jasmine, aphrodisiac. aphrodisiac. Get, get new people some action in March. All right, so we're done today. We're gonna come back and visit you on March 1st where Matt and I are gonna sit in a, the pub of our choice and drink this flavor bomb deliciousness beer that we're creating right here, the Walk the Jazz Bomb. <laughs> so we'll see you in March, looking forward to it. All right, beer people of the universe, we are back. Back in Fatheads, we did a time warp. We started this video way back in early February. It's now March 1st. We have our finished product, the Walk of the Jazz Bar, Jasmine IPA. We're about to take our first sip of the new beer. I haven't tried it yet. Matt Cole claims he's tried it, but I, I don't believe him. I tried it the whole way through. That's what you do when you're Yeah. I don't. I just go for it. So here we go. Cheers. First here we time. Go. Cheers. It doesn't smell of beer. I smelled it. I smelled it. You saw me smell it. I smelled it off camera. It's kind of beautiful. Smell it, yeah. Alright, let's tell the people what we like the best about this beer. How did it turn out in your opinion? Well, this is the first time we brewed with Jasmine, so this is like uncharted territory. Um, very earthy, kind of minty. I said minty from the get go, yeah. which is a little unusual. I'm getting a lot Flowery. of yeah. I'm getting a lot of citrus. A lot of there's some sort of sweet smell flavor in here that I can't put my finger on. It's called sweet jasmine. Sweet jasmine. It's got a. I like the bitterness and a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's actually it's got a different mouthfeel than uh, than, than some of our normal IPAs. It's almost creamy, you know. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, the citrus is it definitely it's, it's a it's a major component of uh, like lemon, maybe a little lemon. So, tangerine, grapefruit, cool. We're, so, so we're calling this an IPA, correct? Yeah. So where's this going to rank in the hierarchy of Fatness IPA? This is a new one for us. All right. So we, we call this a 6, a 7, on a scale of 1 to 10? What do we call it? I'm going to have a lot of lines of 7.4. Right. Okay, IBUs is like 72. So it's kind of right in the, you know, most of our IPAs are around the same range. Um, it's his favorite, that's what he's saying. It's his favorite new IPA right now, uh, Fat Heads. It's definitely different. It's different and, and, and I like it. I like the, I like what the Atna did uh, for the characteristics of beer. I think it's great. So, so remember, this beer is going to be available all March at all the Melt Barn Grove locations, all the Fat Heads locations. This is going to be paired with our brand new sandwich we're running just for March. The General Tso's Manchu Dynasty Melt is our Asian themed sandwich. I think the flavors of this beer is going to go very well with the spicy components of our new of the Asian themed sandwich. What else do you think this, this food would go good with food wise? Not only a melt, but fat heads in general. Well, you know, Asian Asian stuff in general would be good. Pie, right. yeah, pie would be good. Uh, sushi, I'm thinking maybe some sushi. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I just got a lot. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. 
So thank you guys for staying along with us for this ride. It's been an awesome two months brewing with Matt Call here at Fatheads. So we will see you in a couple months because we're going to keep doing this all 2017. So cheers, my friends. Cheers. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it, Sean. I like it.